reality check man from your device and you know, you know it's a unique one aromatic realistic tv anyway today my viewers and subscribers we are at a sad place you know? we are in big big problem and as poor people of jamaica we need to get our act together and we need to get our act together fast i see this report and um ssp superintendent of police and Tony McLaughlin from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, CTAC, is now telling Jamaicans that the money that we are losing from our account in these financial institutions, in these banks, the NCB and the Scotian and all of them, they are now telling us it is scamming. Online scamming is creating havoc with those banking institutions. You know. We just want you know, to just preserve these things. Preserve these things in the cranium and see what is taking place. They are shifting the focus from the bank and placing the blames and scammers. So the banks not supposed to be held accountable you must shift the focus from the bank and put it on to scamming because nobody in authority in jamaica is supposed to be held accountable the rich the elites the oligarchs the members of the psoj they are not supposed to be held accountable so we are once again shifting the blame from the real culprits and placing the blame now at the feet of scammers have you ever heard this saying everything will happen by the sea them say a shark well everything will happen bad in a jamaica now pertain to money they are stating it that it is scammers i am going to play the clip and after i play the clip then we will get to dissect it Take it away. That's for rent. Cars for rent. Venues for rent, among other things. But have you heard of bank accounts for rent? Well, the police have discovered the illicit scheme, which they believe is being used to facilitate online scams in Jamaica. It comes as six persons were charged for defrauding several local bank account holders. In recent times, dozens of Jamaicans have reported losing money from their local bank accounts. On Friday, a shocking revelation from the head of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, CTOC, Senior Superintendent of Police, Dr. Anthony McLaughlin. The Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Fraud Squad has been receiving quite a number of complaints about persons who are renting or making their bank accounts accessible to scammers or persons who are committing criminal activities. And uh, what they do is to allow persons to transfer funds into their accounts. The police believe the persons seeking out accounts for rent are actually online scammers who have defrauded local bank customers and are looking for a safe place to stash the cash. In strongly discouraging the practice, SSP McLaughlin urged those bank account renters that the police will also be coming after them with the full force of the law. And you will be charged if once we have completed the investigations for um, un unauthorized access, making your account available for criminal um, transactions. We will be also charging you for proceeds of crimes acts. And we just want to advise you that once persons are asking you to use your account to facilitate this transaction, you should not do it. It comes as six people were slapped with various fraud charges between January 1 and 25, 2024, relating to those charges. In total, six million Jamaican dollars was defrauded from local bank customers. In a statement, the police also indicated that in 2023, there were over 355 reports of online fraud and over 170 million Jamaican dollars stolen. We will be going all out 
to arrest these persons. And already, as I said, we have arrested six persons. And so if you are one of them who allow your account to be used, then we'll be coming after you. Keep blazing your fire, fire, fire. Blazing your fire, fire, fire. This is Jimmy Morgan, bigging up Aromatic Realist TV. Real about you here. Subscribe now, YouTube. Boom. So Jamaica, it is loud and clear. We see that and we just hear that clip. And what the reporter is saying right there, because that was a report from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division. And he was saying that, have you ever heard about rent a bank account? We heard about rent a car, rent a truck, rent a shop, rent a house. But he goes on and he says, have you ever heard about bank accounts for rent? That's the reporter. Have you ever heard about bank account for rent? And he goes on. Well, the police have discovered the illicit scamming, which they believe is being used to facilitate online scamming in Jamaica. Well, the police have discovered the illicit scamming, which they believe is being used to facilitate online scamming in Jamaica. It came as six persons were charged for defrauding several local banks owners it came as six person were charged for defrauding several local bank owners and it goes on in recent times dozens of jamaicans are reported losing their money from their local bank account on friday a shocking revelation And Friday, a shocking revelation from the head of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, CTAC, Superintendent of Police, Anthony McClackley. I want to just go back over that a minute. In recent times, dozens of Jamaicans are reported losing their money from their local bank account. And Friday, there was a shocking report from the head of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, CTAC, Superintendent of Police, Anthony McClackley. Shocking revelation. So Jamaica, the shocking revelation from the head of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, CTAC, from Superintendent of Police, Anthony McClacky. And he's now making us aware that criminals, according to them, are borrowing people's account, rent an account. So people is doing their scam. And for instance, let's say I have an account and somebody else is doing the scam, but they don't have an account. They ask if they could transfer money into my account. And then when they do so, I would give them, but I would get a percentage before I give them back. For instance, it's $200. I would say, okay, then, well, you have to go give me $50 out of it. So he would only get $150. That's what they are telling us. So what they are doing now, Jamaica, is removing the blame from the head of the banks and putting the blame on scammers. Small people, you know, we, we're not supposed to expect less than that. That was in the makings because this is what happened. There is nobody in high authority, as I stated before, will be held accountable under this Andrew Olness led administration. And when I tell my people, by the hook or by the crook, by the highway or the byway, I tell my people, you have to go to your, your, your sister, 
your brother, your niece, your uncle, your mother, your father, your enemy. You now have to make it right with those people because the next time around in the polling booth, you have to get rid of this Andrew Oness led administration. Because we see what is going on. We poor people is now leave exposed and we are on our own. Nobody cares, nobody business about us. You are trying to make a case to us now that it is scammers who is stealing millions of dollars from local Jamaicans account. So you are moving every blame from the banks. The banks not standing any blame anymore. And who is releasing that? Eh? Superintendent of Police, Anton McCartney. But anyway, the story moves on. Jamaica, we are going to expose them. And I am going to use this next clippings and debunk everything that that report has just stated. That report is flawed. It's fake. That report, they would state it as propaganda. Because you are trying to move the blame from the banks and put it on to scammers. But I am going to use this tape and debunk that. Jamaica. I am going to use this tape and debunk that. It's nonsense. It is rubbish. Why these people under Andrew Owens are protecting the elites of Jamaica? Why? Why Jamaica? That's the question we need to ask. Take it away. Meet Vincent Wilson. He's a 105-year-old pensioner, but according to him, he doesn't look a day over 80. An accountant until the day he retired, his ability to recall is intact, but his hearing, not so much. And so this is how we communicate. By writing questions on paper, he reads them with this big magnifying glass and response. This is where they said that we are going to put back the money, but like it's like that. I assume no responsibility, but the right way to people your money. Mr. Wilson revealed that he noticed a significant amount of money in his savings account at the National Commercial Bank, NCB, was missing last year. He doesn't use online banking, neither does he use a debit card. Instead, his transactions are done over the counter. He discovered that over $6 million was missing from his account. The withdrawals occurred over a two-month period. In a single transaction alone, five million dollars gone. Thousand six hundred seventy-four dollars and seven cents. I don't feel good at all. This one is the maximum. I don't eat. I lose my appetite. All that again came from morning here. It's just a a backline show. You know it is maximum. And the book itself is where I'm supposed to be buried from. You know, it is much more. And the book itself is where I'm supposed to be buried from. Wilson revealed that he noticed a significant amount of money in his savings account at the National Commercial Bank, NCB, was missing last year. He doesn't use online banking, neither does he use a debit card. Instead, his transactions are done over the counter. He discovered that over $6 million was missing from his account. The withdrawals occurred over two so Jamaica, month period. That was Vincent Wilson. Vincent Wilson. You know what him say? It mashed me up. Me not have no appetite. Me lose my appetite. From man in me I want to ensure me drink. It mashed me up. And see that didn't find him. So, 105 years old. Vincent Wilson. 6 million gone i will restate 105 years old vincent wilson six million was gone and take it to consideration now jamaica that this man vincent never used a online banking 
in his 105 years on the planet Earth, he has never used online banking. Never used a credit card. Never used a debit card. But his 6 million disappeared. Is six million disappeared. Never use online banking. Never use a credit card. Never use a debit card. Every transaction that he do, he go in with his physical bank book to do that transaction. But his six million is gone. Is six million is gone. And listen to this. We did not get a briefing from the Prime Minister of Jamaica where this is regard. We did not get a briefing from the Prime Minister of Jamaica where this is regard. Where all many Jamaican is losing millions. From their bank account. But the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the man who you give the mandate to serve and to protect and to make sure that none of us left behind, to serve us at the highest level locally and internationally. Until this day, the Prime Minister does not give a briefings on it. And what about the Finance Minister, Nigel Clark? Until this day, Nigel Clark, no give a briefing on it. What about the head of the banking institution in Jamaica? They did not give a briefing until this day. So Jamaica, look who we are getting this briefing from. Look who we, the Jamaican people, getting this briefing from. CTAC. CTAC. We are getting a briefing from CTAC. We didn't get a briefing from the Prime Minister. What is taking place with the citizen of Jamaican money in this institution? Did not get a briefing from Nigel Clark. We did not get a briefing from the head of this banking institution. We are getting a briefing from corrupted CETA with, with um, it's daily then. Corrupt criminals want to brief us. Hmm? Want to brief us. My question is, it was a reporter who break Mr. Vincent Wilson story. It was not CETA. It was a reporter who break Mr. Vincent Wilson story. Why so? Mr. Wilson's story was pointing straight to the bank. Why? This man never used online banking. This man never have a credit card. This man never have a debit card. So any transaction, he would have to go into the bank to make that transaction. So Mr. Vincent Kiss was pointing straight towards the bank. Because no online, no scammer couldn't mess with Mr. Vincent thing. Because you have to take the physical, the book, and bring it into the bank to do any form of transaction on Mr. Vincent account. So CTAC did not take that case. Because if CTAC take Mr. Vincent case, CTAC would expose the bank. You hear what I just said? If CTAC take up Mr. Vincent case, CTAC would have exposed the bank. Because Mr. Vincent case is an inside job. So what CTAC do? They did not take that case up because Mr. Vincent is a regular, normal Jamaican 
and we are not going to expose the bank for a normal Jamaican citizen. They stated, what they stated, six persons were charged. Six persons were charged. So we are hawking as Jamaican citizens. Since this icing is, is out of control, and regular Jamaicans who work all their life and put away the little saving for a rainy day, is now without their money. My understanding that CTAC would put out mugshot on these six individuals. The six individual that is being charged supposed to be in custody because this is big ice and a big teeth in. We didn't get any mugshot from those six individual and we did not see any breaking news. For such a crime like these, why are we hiding these people? The Jamaican people should see their mug mugshot. They should all over the news. They should make an every headline. Since you guys said you have six, you charge six. So where is the six that you charge? We cannot take Sita words and say we charge six people. We hear that all the time. Where is the six people on the charge? Where the mug shot then there? Where is the breaking news? I'm supposed to then inoculate over every headline. We want to see them. We want to know who them six here. Yeah. Who is thiefing millions of dollars from, from normal Jamaica and them life savings? So these are the questions we need to ask them, Jamaica. The six that is charged. Where is the mug shot? Where is the breaking news? Because we need to see them. But okay, I come put out a little thing in a secret and then they run, they go on and I come tell you this and I come tell you. All kind of foolishness. We are not having it, bro. We are not having it. This is flaw, fraud, corruption all over this. CTAC is protecting the institution. Just like how they protect every big man in Jamaica. From the PSOJ, the oligarchs, anybody who have little money, that's it, will never go to prison under Andrew Owens administration. Will never hold accountable under Andrew Owens administration. No so I go on Jamaica. No so I go on. No justice under this administration. They are trying to shift the blame from the bank or the banks. And put the blame now onto scammers. Everything what they, everything what happened to see them say a shock. Just think about that, my fellow Jamaican. Everything that happened to see them say a shock. Think about that, my fellow Jamaica. Now the blame is removing from the bank, the giant institution who cannot be held accountable. So they are now pinning the blame. At the foot of scammers. Rent an account. You rent an account and, and, and move money online into that account. And come on, bullshit, brother. Bullshit, brother. Uno run out of idea now. Uno so projected, brother. We are reading like a book, brother. That report don't make any sense. Garbage. Garbage. Vincent Wilson case debunk all of that, bro. Why Sita never take up Vincent Wilson case? Why you never take up that case? Because that case would expose the banks. And dare you to expose the bank. So Sita is there you now shielding the bank from exposure, telling us that it is scammers. Scammers who are renting account to transfer money into other people account. And people are getting percentage. That's rubbish, bro. Come better than that. We are reading you know, like a book now. We understand. You, know. you are there protecting the institution. And putting the blame at the feet of scammers. Think we're stupid, man.
105 years old Vincent Wilson. 6 billion gone. The man never use an online banking. The man never have a credit card. The man never have a debit card, but yet still in 6 million gone. And one can not tell we now, say a scammer rent an account is taking the Jamaican people their money out of the banking institution. They're on a fraud, man. No full of shit. It's the institution that is taking away the people money. The institution is taking away the people money. Think about it, Jamaica. Such a big thing like this is taking place. Where regular Jamaican who work all their life is losing millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And you have a prime minister who you give the mandate to serve and to protect you. To make sure that every Jamaican live to his or her full potential. And there should be no Jamaican that leave behind under his administration. You serve us locally and internationally. You want to make sure that every Jamaican get the best out of life that is there for them to achieve, bro. And you don't come out one day and brief the nation. The finance minister did not come out one day and brief the nation. The heads of the bank did not come out one day and brief the nation. But Uno has sent out CETA, now a criminal law enforcement force. We, we, we not trust you, you know. Because listen to me, no one named law enforcement in a Jamaica no have no credibility. Because Uno controlled by Andrew Owens. Andrew Owens tell Uno what to do. I'm talking the rank and file members. You understand? Both in the military and both in the um, the police force. We not trust you, know. Because Uno been manipulated by Andrew Owens. Uh, Andrew Owens, Uno uh, Andrew Owens personal bodyguard. Uno are going to do everything to protect the people who Andrew Owens affiliate with and close to. So when Uno come out this time and they contrive to protect the bank, it's not nothing new to us, bro. Both rent up account and rent a bank book and all of them things. Yeah. Them things are yeah, not nothing new to us. When just sit down and they wait for you to come, because we know so you're not going to come with it. But as I said, bro, we stood on like a book now. As you know, come and open up on the mouth and talk. We know so you know, a fraud, flat. No come around with no come around here, so with that. We don't have them things anymore, bro. SSP and Tony McLaughlin. Superintendent of police. From the counter terrorism and organized crime division CETA. And the reporter. Have you ever heard about bank account rental? We the police have discovered the illicit scamming which they believe is being used to facilitate online scamming in Jamaica. It came as six persons were charged for defrauding several local bank owners. In recent times, dozens of Jamaicans are reported losing their money from these local bank accounts. On Friday, breaking news. Breaking news. On Friday, a shocking revelation from the head of the counterterrorism and organized crime division, CETA, Superintendent of Police, Anthony. McLaughlin. Breaking news. The breaking news now. What them have figured? Scammer. Scammer is responsible for the millions of dollars what the thief out of the bank account them down there in Jamaica. That them have come tell me. Breaking news. For over the weeks now they report them what them have get some millions of dollars they lose from people account and all of that. No breaking news, a revelation just break out now if you say them say scammer. Illicit scammer is doing this now. Renting people account 
and putting money into people account. People give them the money and take a percentage of it. Six people now then charge. Where the six people them there, we don't know. We don't see no mugshot. We don't see no breaking news. For such high crime like this, we don't see no mugshot of nobody. We don't see no breaking news. We don't hear nothing. Only see that now they come out and tell we say six charge. I want another go man on a dopey blood clot, but excuse my language, people. My time, you know, we're just getting mad around here and everything. Eh? Shifting the blame from the banking institution. And now you want to put the blame on scammers. Like we're stupid, we are idiot, bro. Why not go with that, man? Why not go with that? We tired down a drunk, man. We tired down a man. Drunk. You understand? Dead meat, man. You understand? Don't let them mash up a country and a wreck up a country. You understand? You are trying to shift the blame from the banks and put the blame now on scammers. Explain how Mr. Vincent case got to me. Explain it. Mr. Vincent never do online banking. Mr. Vincent never have a credit card. Mr. Vincent never own a debit card. Mr. Vincent have to go in the bank to do his transaction with his bank book. And if that's the case, then all the man losing six million and a gun. When six million gone, it was an inside job. It take place within the bank. And now you know I come tell you about a scammer and scammer for blame for this and scam. Yo, brother, I'm full of shit. Yo, I'm go, man. I'm go, man. But my fellow Jamaicans at home and in the diaspora abroad, we have one solution working for us. Andrew Wallace have the head of the soldier them. He has the head of the police. He have the justice system. He have the judge them. Basically, he have the rich people, the oligarchs, the elites, the PSOJ. Who is going to give him money to run in election to buy us again? But the only thing we have on our side as the poor people of Jamaica is our vote. The only thing we have as poor people of Jamaica is to dip this into a hink and vote out Andrew Owens. That's what we have over them. And that is the reason why they are all over the place now, doing everything. Fertilizer. So they're fixing road. They're going to fix hospital. In St. James. All kind of things. All kind of goodies they are giving away right now. You know why? This finger. This finger moves mountain. And this finger is what we must use as the people of Jamaica to get rid of Andrew Owens and his administration. That is the only way we, the poor people in Jamaica, is going to get justice. That is the only way we, the poor people in Jamaica, is going to get justice. By getting rid of Andrew Owens. And a different administration come around and changes right across the board. Because as we can see right now with our eyes, the elites of Jamaica, the PSOJs, the oligarchs, the people who are in high excellence, they will never brought to justice under this Andrew Owens administration. Because you know what? He is leading from top. He is setting the example. So therefore, he cannot speak to any one of them. And he cannot hold anyone accountable. So therefore, we must make our vote speak for us. And when our vote speak the next time around, is to make sure both in the local government election and the upcoming general next year to get rid of Andrew Owens' his administration, get rid of the, the, the police high command, get rid of the military high command, get rid of the judges them that he bought. That is all we're going to win. That is all we are going to win. Be well, my people. Stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. Like and share. Follow us over YouTube. Touch the notification bell.
always make sure that you are being notified. And when you see a content from Aromatic, I don't want you to, to sleep on it or sit on it or be selfish. I'm just asking you to spread it because the message must reach. The message must reach for too long. For too long, they have us in the dark and taking us for fools. So we have to inform our people, get them equipped so that they can think and make decision that is going to impact them, their kids, their grandkids, and their great grandkids and generation to follow. But the only way we will accomplish that is for us to spread the message so the message can reach. And after that message reach, it must resonate and connect with these people. And that is why I am right here playing my part. And your part is to like and share and spread the message. United we stand or divided we will fall. This is one cause that all Jamaican at home and who live in the diaspora must stand and gather around to get back our country. Because our country is not for one person, it's for the 99 percent. With that one person, make it a hundred percent. Be well, my people. God and good road. The signature word. Art of love. Art of love. Art of love. Peace. Out.